the Taiwan People's Party got 20% of the vote, and I understand from reports that they had the youth on their side. It was mainly a youth vote. Um, what does this tell you in the DPP? That the youth <laughs> went to TPP, Taiwan People's yeah. Party? Well, it tells us we have to work a lot harder, <laughs> <laughs> particularly in, in, uh, in, in talking with the youth and, and, and putting forward agendas that I think um, match their priorities as well. But, I mean, the fact is that the DPP in past elections has always had very strong support from the young people of Taiwan because mm. our idea of enhancing, you know, a, a Taiwan-based identity on strengthening our self-defense capabilities, on building international partnerships, this has traditionally resonated very strongly with Taiwan's young people, particularly those that are born in an era where we call uh, Tianrandu, which is that Taiwan is already a sovereign independent country. I mean, formally we're called the Republic of China, but certainly we're not subordinate to the People's Republic of China in Beijing. So with that being said, however, we have been in government for a number of years, and there may be some fatigue associated with that. And so it's really up to us as a governing party to be able to show that we are ready, capable, and we have the determination to make progress on issues that affect our young people today.